Meg Ryan rose to prominence in the 1980s and 90s as one of Hollywood's leading ladies. Known for her roles in iconic romantic comedies like When Harry Met Sally, Sleepless in Seattle, and You've Got Mail, Ryan was once one of the most popular and highest paid actresses in the world. But in recent years, she's been seen less in public than at the height of her career, and her changing appearance has led to speculation about plastic surgery. Join Facts First as we present Meg Ryan's transformation is turning heads not in a good way. Early Life Meg Ryan, born Margaret Mary Emily Hira on November 19, 1961 in Fairfield, Connecticut, is an actress and a producer. She's the daughter of Susan Jordan, a former actor and English teacher, and Harry Hira, a math teacher. She has two sisters, Dana and Annie, and a brother, Andrew. Meg grew up in a comfortable home in Fairfield, Connecticut. She was interested in acting early on and participated in school plays. After graduating from Bethel High School in 1979, she enrolled at the University of Connecticut and transferred to NYU to study journalism. But she didn't complete her degree as she decided to pursue acting full-time. She began her acting career in 1981 with minor roles in series like As the World Turns and made her film debut in George Cukor's Rich and Famous in 1981. The 80s and 90s her career took off in the 1980s. Her breakthrough came in 1986 when she played Carol Bradshaw, the wife of Navy pilot Nick Goose Bradshaw, played by Anthony Edwards, in Top Gun. Although it was a supporting role, the film's massive success brought her a lot of attention. Later that year, she landed a lead role opposite John Candy and Eugene Levy in Armed and Dangerous. In 1987, she starred in Inner Space opposite Dennis Quaid, which was a science fiction comedy. Ryan and Quaid started a relationship during the making of this film and eventually got married in 1991. But it was in 1989 that she gained widespread recognition and acclaim for her role as Sally Albright in the romantic comedy When Harry Met Sally, opposite Billy Crystal. Her performance earned her a Golden Globe nomination and solidified her status as a leading lady in Hollywood. The film was a commercial and critical success and widely considered one of the great rom-coms of all time. By the end of the 80s, Meg had successfully transitioned from supporting roles to leading roles and had established herself as one of the most popular and sought-after actresses in Hollywood. Her career flourished in the 90s, solidifying her as one of Hollywood's leading ladies, particularly in the romantic comedy genre. In 1990, she starred in Joe vs. the Volcano opposite Tom Hanks. That duo went on to star in two more highly successful films in the decade. 1993 was a significant year for Ryan as she starred in the hugely popular rom-com Sleepless in Seattle, again opposite Tom Hanks. The film was a critical and commercial success, earning over $220 million worldwide and receiving two Academy Award nominations. In 1998, she starred in two films, City of Angels, opposite Nick Cage, and You've Got Mail, reuniting with Tom Hanks for a third time. Career Decline Despite her reign as one of the top stars in Hollywood during the 80s and 90s, Ryan's career has seen a steady downward trajectory in the past two decades. In 2001, she starred in the romantic drama Kate and Leopold opposite Hugh Jackman, which was a moderate box office success. This was followed by a departure from her usual romantic comedy roles with a leading role in the erotic thriller In the Cut. In it, Meg plays Franny, a New York City English teacher who becomes involved in a passionate affair with a detective played by Mark Ruffalo, investigating a murder in her neighborhood. The film ended up receiving mixed to negative reviews. It holds a 34% approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Many felt the film's eroticism and graphic content overshadowed the narrative and that the thriller elements were not as compelling as they could have been. In the Cut marked a significant departure for Meg, who was primarily known for rom-coms until that point. It was a bold attempt to break free from her girl-next-door image and take on more serious and complex roles. However, the film's poor reception didn't help to redefine her career. The graphic nature of some of the scenes and the film's overall dark tone were a departure from the roles that had made her famous. She subsequently took a hiatus from acting. Meg made her return to acting in 2008 with The Women, a comedy-drama film featuring an ensemble cast of leading female actors. That film, however, received negative reviews. In 2015, she made her directorial debut with Ithaca, a drama in which she also starred. It was based on the 1943 novel The Human Comedy by William Sarian. 
Sadly, the film received negative reviews and was a commercial failure. Personal Life Meg's first marriage was to Dennis Quaid, having met on the set of Inner Space. They have one child together, a son named Jack Quaid. Jack is now an actor known for his roles in The Hunger Games and the Amazon Prime series The Boys. However, Ryan and Quaid's marriage faced challenges and they eventually separated in 2000. The divorce was finalized in 2001. Ryan has publicly stated that Quaid was unfaithful to her during their marriage, which Quaid has denied. After her separation from Quaid, Ryan had a highly publicized relationship with actor Russell Crowe. They met on the set of the film Proof of Life in 2000. The relationship attracted a lot of media attention due to its timing, as it coincided with her separation from Quaid. But that was short-lived and they broke up in 2001. Ryan also had an on-again, off-again relationship with musician John Mellencamp. They started dating in 2011, but broke up in 2014. They reconciled in 2017 and got engaged in November 2018. But they called off the engagement and ended the relationship in 2019. In addition to her biological son, Jack, she also has a daughter, Daisy True Ryan, whom she adopted from China in 2006. Plastic Surgery Rumors Over the years, there has been much speculation about Meg Ryan possibly having had plastic surgery. The actress, known for her girl-next-door looks in the 80s and 90s, has faced media scrutiny and public speculation due to her changing appearance. She recently attended the premiere of a documentary, Still, about her dear friend Michael J. Fox and his struggle with Parkinson's disease. When photos of the event were posted, there were a lot of rumblings online about how Meg looks drastically different than she used to. And while, of course, she looks older, because that's the natural progression for all of us, there are also potential hints that she's undergone surgery over the years or perhaps uses filler and Botox. Of course, in modern times, these choices aren't all that uncommon, especially in Hollywood, where stars are forced to keep looking young to maintain their career. But for Meg's fans, her looks have become potentially disappointing, as she previously had such a fresh and wholesome look, one that went perfectly with many of the roles she played. Meg Ryan has never publicly confirmed or denied having any plastic surgery procedures. Meg does have an upcoming release that she stars in and directed. It's called What Happens Later. Slated for release in November 2023, it's a rom-com set in an airport. It stars Meg opposite David Duchovny, and she directed it, so hopefully that'll be a welcome return to form when it comes to the former queen of the rom-com genre. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite Meg Ryan role? Let us know in the comments section below.